Okay, so it comes with this little thing. I ordered it in a large because my flow is obviously heavy, but <laughs> there are no instructions. It feels sort of like less sort of, um, I don't know what's the right word. Like it's not as soft as I expected or like gooey as I expected it to be. I think I had expected like a jelly type of texture. But anyways, we'll figure it out. I'm basically using knowledge from a video that I watched online. But just to be precautious, I'm going to be uh, washing this with soap. And obviously my hands are washed. On the video, it says I should try it like that. Um, but I don't know that that works but I've seen a couple of people online who sort of just go like that. Wait, what is it again? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like pressing onto the thing like that and then trying to get it up that way. So this is what I'm gonna try. And once it sort of enters, I'm gonna try and squish it, like squish this part in. Okay, so just washing my hands there so when I tried to put it in the first time it didn't actually feel intuitive to me like it felt like I'm putting something that shouldn't be going somewhere um, and so I think because of the texture of the of the silicone thing so it's not it's sort of like putting on a tampon but like it's weird because of the shape and the texture and whatnot so what I did was I just did the same technique I said and then I relaxed my sort of like myself down there a little bit and I was able to just um, sort of like tug it in and then it opened like I could feel it just bloop inside me and then I sort of um, just lifted it as it sucked itself up or something that's how it felt I don't know whether that's just a, a psychological effect since I watched a video of how it works but um, but yeah right now it's in I did um, sort of like put it in the way I would put in a tampon meaning I kind of lift one leg kind of but I'll be sitting down but not really kind of um, and so I wonder whether that ended up causing the stick the little stick at the bottom to kind of be not centered like I feel like it's kind of like tilted to the side a little bit it doesn't feel uncomfortable in me to be honest like it feels completely like nothing is there but when I um, like when I can feel it I feel it like the stick is not like centered right in the like center it's sort of like at a, t at a tilt as if like I kind of inserted it the opposite so anyways meaning if I do experience leaks then we'll know why that is but um, but otherwise yeah it feels great um, I'm just going to put on a um, a liner just in case I do leak because that is not cute. Um, other than that, I'll check in back at the end of the day to let you know how it goes or if something crazy happens in the middle of the day, I'll do that as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to like this. Okay, so day one is officially done. I actually can't believe that I kept it in the entire day on two occasions i kind of got paranoid because when i tell you this thing is comfortable it's so comfortable that you forget you're wearing it so it made me feel paranoid like something wrong was happening so i was forced to go check it out took it out and everything was fine i did not leak whatever one bit i think i mentioned in the morning that i i used a liner just in case but i actually didn't leak whatsoever um what else yeah so I just checked it at around one o'clock and then I checked it again at I want to say four or f no I checked it at like 5 30 yeah definitely around 5 30 and um, it was about halfway through which was so surprising to me because usually like I'm always changing my pad or tampon all the time like every hour or so so seeing the sort of blood 
TMI, yes, but seeing the blood in the cup, it just kind of changed the whole like amount of blood that I thought I dispense every month. It's like it's actually not as much as I thought I did. I did lose every month. But anyways, uh, moral of the story is I checked it. I just poured it out and it sounds gross, but it's actually not as gross as it sounds and to my surprise like no smell whatsoever like I didn't experience that which with a tampon I now actually find tampons kind of gross just it's night and day that's all I gotta say anyways I'll do my full review at the end of the week or the end of the cycle in terms of taking it out I did find it difficult the first time that I tried to take it out because I was just like I don't know like it's a weird feeling like so you have to hold on to the little hanging thing and then somehow pinch it down so that was kind of like uncomfortable um, the first time I did it but I think by like this time around I'm just about to get ready for bed so took a shower and I'm kind of like feeling more confident in the whole like taking it out putting it back in thing Anyways, so that's day one. I I am sleeping with it tonight and um, trying to test it out to see what happens. I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen. So again, I'm just taking precautions just in case something crazy happens. I don't want like a massacre in my bed sheets or something. So, um, but yeah, so I probably won't sleep really well because I'll be kind of half conscious of the situation. But if, if the day is any indication, I shouldn't be worried for tonight because, like I said, I did not leak at all, at all. And I did not feel it at all, at all inside me. So, so anyway, so that feels great. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I have a couple more days on my cycle. So, um, yeah, and hopefully we'll have a verdict by the end of the week.